TV with how the Cullen Smith media work out today. Yeah. We're with the king of the middleweight, super middleweight division. Cullen Smith, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Really good. How are you? Fine, good. thank you. What was you here at the media workout today? Yeah. First of all, how's your training been for this fight with John Ryder? Yeah, it's been good. Camp's going well. We're being to just improve and progress each weekend. Tactically, this one's been a little bit different. Obviously, I'm fighting a southpaw, mm. but it's been enjoyable. It's something. It's a new style to to get to grips with. And you know, I feel we've got it. We've got it right. Me and John, but tactically, been working pretty well together. And uh, I'm here to do the job and I have to keep you real tight up. Like you said, John Ryder is a southpaw. He's a new style for yourself. What kind of dangers do you think John Ryder possesses? Yeah, obviously, listen, he's a southpaw. He's so sort of different. Every fight's kind of different, but he, he's, it's a big opportunity for him. It's his first world title shot, and you know, there's no guarantee he may get another one after this. So he, he's got to plan on taking it with both hands, and I've got to expect the best version of him possible. But I just think the best version of me beats anyone in the world, and that includes John. How do you feel the fact that finally you're defending your world titles in the city of Liverpool? Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's something I always, it's a position I always wanted to be in. Even from a little boy, I always wanted to you know, be fighting a world title fight back in the home city. And, Liverpool's a good fighting city with good fans who supported me from day one, so it, it's a good little way for me to say thanks for all the support over the years by you know, giving them a, a, a good fight and a big performance. How do you see the fight between you and John Ryder ending? Uh, listen, I, I never predict, you know, I never go out looking for knockouts, I never predict knockouts, but I just think if I perform to live the way I know I can, then I should be too good for John and I should be able to beat him and beat him well. Over the weekend, we saw Canelo going up two weight classes yeah. and knocking out Cobbler first of all, yeah. what did you make of Canelo's performance? Um, it was a bit of a weird fight, it was not, not a lot happened to be honest with you, it was a bit of a, wasn't the best Canelo performance but you've got to give him credit, he's moved up two weights and knocked out a good world champion and you've got to take your hat off to him for that, he's, he's a light heavyweight world champion, some props to him. Whether he stays at night every time he comes down, I'm not too sure, but listen, he's a top fighter and he's not going to give him credit. After seeing him at 175, do you think he should stay at that position or maybe No, no, to be honest with you, because I think he picked the right opponent, Kovlevs. No, he's a top fighter, his best days are probably behind and where there's the other champions better be ever and leave all day a lot younger, fresh and a bit more spiteful. And I think if I don't Canelo's now won a world title 175, naturally he's not a 175, he's a 160 or possibly a 168, but 175 is a little bit too big a jump for him and I think, I think he'll go back down, he may prove us wrong, but I think he will. Is that a fight you would like to have in the future? Yeah, of course, listen, I think anyone from light middle to light heavy would love the Canelo fight, he is the superstar in boxing at the minute, he's a top fighter, but in my opinion he's a better middleweight than super middle or light heavy. And I think the chance of him losing increased the heavier he goes, so to speak. So, listen, if the phone rang for the Canelo fight, the fight I'd jump out, fight I believe I hope. If it happens, it happens. It doesn't then, there's a lot of other top fights out there for At Anfield, maybe? Hopefully, it's getting him out to America. And I think it's an EO top of cards, he's the English superstar, so I think Everton would be on his terms, which would probably be Vegas, but it's in Vegas appeals to me just as much as Anfield. And the final thing I'd like to ask you is, Tomorrow night, it's a bit of a strange fight card tomorrow. Yeah. First of all, it's between two YouTubers. Yeah. Did you manage to watch the first fight between KSI and Logan No, Paul? I never, to be honest with you, but I, I remember at the time, I'm seeing you know, the, the amount of tick sales they've done, the views he got, and it's, it's stupid, it's madness how many people the interest they get considering they're not professional fighters. But listen, if it makes money, it makes sense, and if it's a demand to watch it, then it's a good one to them. You think it's good for boxing? Um, yeah, I don't know, I see both arguments. It's good for boxing because it's putting boxing on a massive platform and people who probably would never watch boxing, they're going to watch it because they know who KSI and all that. So it's good for it in that sense. It's just a bit, it's when you've got genuine world champions who dedicate their whole life to this fighting on the undercard to YouTubers. That's where it's a bit, it's a little bit wrong when you've got a lot of fighters who get no they give the whole life for it, you never get given that type of platform, that opportunity. So I see both sides, so it's got, it's got pros for boxing, it's got pros for Do you have a certain prediction of who you think might win the fight? No, like I said, I've never, I've never seen the first fight, so I, I don't know. I might, I might watch the first one later and have a little prediction, but I don't know. I, I, I probably will still watch it, but I'll probably watch it tomorrow. Who do, do you think wins? I think... I think the earlier on, it, I think it would be Logan, but yeah. later the fight goes on, I think it will go towards yeah, KSI. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
it's six round, isn't it? Yeah, it's six round. I think three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a proper professional. Yeah, proper player. professional. Yeah. Could be good. Could be exciting. Little gloves this time, innit? Yeah, so ten ounce. Good to you. Good to you. Knockout. Alright. Yeah. Thank you for speaking to us on Watson TV. Best of luck ahead of you, Tyler John Ryder.